These are my two adjustable height workbenches that I made out of FlexiSpot um, adjustable desk frames or standing desk frames, um, and they're awesome. You can see they are pretty quick, they're pretty quiet. This one's got my table saw on it and I use it as a miter saw station. And this is just my like general workbench. It's got um, drawers in here. The drawers are um, really heavy. They're full extension. Um, and yet you can pull them out all the way. And it's not really any in any uh, uh, danger of falling over. And the big difference between the two of them is that right now, this one, this one here is powered by a DeWalt battery. And this one is plugged into the wall. And uh, I just haven't changed this one over yet. And if we pop off this back panel, we can find the adapter. That was more difficult than I expected. All right, so we've got this controller this is for the standing desk, and you can see that it uh, max four amps, max 33 volts, but it can take 18 to 33 volts. And then the adapter that comes with the FlexiSpot, that's this guy, is a 29 volt adapter. And the two parts that I bought from Amazon for this were this adapter that's made for powering power wheels with the wall batteries. And we're sending it through this boost converter that will take anywhere from 12 or nine to 20 volts and output 24 volts DC, which is within range of this. So uh, we'll get all this wired up here. This is where our DeWalt battery is gonna plug in. Then we come through the side and we've got our uh, connection to our boost converter. It's gonna take the 20 volts of the battery pack and it's going to increase it to 24 volts. Then that goes, uh, out here, this is the 24 volt output, uh, and then that's gonna go into our controller. All right, so here's the smallest size um, DeWalt battery, just a little pancake battery. And put it into the slot there. And then we can control the desk, or the workbench rather. And that's down, down's obviously the easy direction. But then you can also go up. And then once it reaches its endpoint, you can pull the battery. It doesn't need to be powered after that point. And um, it'll remember where it is. And um, then when you plug it in the next time, It doesn't need to home or anything. It just knows that it's at 50 already and you can put it back to whatever point you need it to be at. One thing you do need to be sure of about this uh, when you do this though, is that uh, DeWalt batteries have their uh, low voltage um, shutoff in the tool and not in the battery itself. So if you leave a battery in one of these, you could potentially kill it, which I, is never a problem for me. I just take them out when I'm done. So that's done there that it works this one too. Then this slides right back into its corner. And I still have access to all my commonly used tools over here. And then this is just my normal slide around workbench.